Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and we're going to do an, another unusual card today. This one, I got a photo off of Pinterest, but I didn't do it exactly like the photo, so I kind of put a twist to it. But this one we're going to call a triple panel card. You're going to need a piece of cardstock that is 10 by 5 and a half. Now you can make this smaller if you want to. All you'll need to do mm -hmm. is just adjust your score lines. That's it. I mean, you can make it as small or as large as you want. But this one is 10 by 5 and a half. We're going to score on the 10 inch side at 3, at 4, at 6, and at 7. Okay. That's all the scoring you're going to do. It's a really quick card. It comes together real quick. Let's see. We're going to do some different folds here. This one is going to be, this is a mountain, a valley, a mountain, and a valley. So you're going to fold it like that with that little panel sticking up in the front there. See if we can get that. Press down there. So that's the way your card is going to look. And it it will stand up when the recipient gets it. Okay, we're going to put some mats on these, and again, I am using the Bow Bunny, let me see what the name of it is, I already forgot, Early Bird Collection. And someone sent me a message and said, when I showed the Early Bird Collection, I didn't show the um, bonus pack of the stickers that comes in it, and asked me, did the stickers come or not? Bow Bunny has been messing up a little bit lately. They've been sending the collection packs out without the stickers, but my company that I order through, they've been sending me the stickers and I just insert them in. So if I didn't show it in that video, I apologize, but we do have the stickers in those packs. So the collection pack is complete. Wanted to throw that in there before we go any further. But this is from that collection pack from Early Bird. So we're going to put this, these mats on. Now these mats are cut at five and a quarter by two and three quarters. And all of these measurements and the products I use, everything will be listed on my blog. And that link will be directly below this video. Let's see if there's upside. Yep, that looks like the upside. Okay, so we got two of those. Put one on each end. And then we have one for the centerpiece. And this one is cut at one and three quarter by five and a quarter. So that one goes right there. And then I've got two cut for either side here. And these are cut at three quarter inch by five and one quarter. So let me see which way is up. So if you miss any of these measurements, just click on my blog link below and it'll take you directly to this project and it'll have all of the measurements listed there. Alright, so there are our mats. That's the way it's going to look. Now you could put different color mats on here if you want as you do here. doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave mine like that. Now from that same paper pack, this is from the sheet. It's like a little cutout sheet, this. I cut this piece out, and then I cut a piece of the pink and the, the background paper here, and I'm going to mat this. This is cut at, I will tell you, I didn't write it down, but I'll tell you. This is cut at 2 and 7 eighths by two and seven eighths. So let me write that down on my sheet. So I'll make sure I put it on there on my blog. And then this pink one is cut at 
two and a half, no, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then this piece I just trimmed out, but I'll tell you the size of it. It is two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So I'll write that down as well in case you want to just cut out a piece and stamp on it or something. So I've got those written down. Now let's go ahead and mat this. And I cut it to where there will be just a little bit of each of the colors showing around. Just a tiny bit. I don't know which way's up and which way's down on this. That looks okay right there, so that's what we'll do. All right, there we go with that. Now before we stick it to this, I've got a little tiny stamp, and I know you can't see it until I stamp it, but it just says, let me make sure I get it right, it just says happy birthday, and I've punched a little white circle just with my one inch circle punch. I'm gonna use some memento ink ink this up and hopefully I can stamp it right the first time. If not, I'll flip it over. Desperately need to re-ink my ink pad. Try that again. This is our little one by one inch block. Well, even though I stamped it upside down, but it still works. Good thing it was a circle. So I'm gonna put that right there. I couldn't read it, so I just stamped. Pop this off before I get that ink everywhere. Now we're just gonna use a pop dot or a foam dot, I should say. It's so hard to see which way it says happy. And we're going to put that right there in that corner. Just kind of brings out some of the white and the flowers. And then before we mount this on here, I want to put some of the string behind it. So before I put this down on there, I'm just going to wrap this string around. This is just some white string. It's like a yarn type string. Some people actually crochet with this. I have no idea how to do that, but then we're just going to make a little bow. That's just going to help bring that white out again on there. I'm going to make it kind of tiny. And I'm going to slip it over to the side right there, and then I'll trim this off. Okay, so we're going to put that down right there. But I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive on the back of this so that that string is going to stay in place. All I did was just run some of that adhesive right across the top of it. And then we're going to mount that right there. And I would I know we've got a lot of flowers going on here, don't we? But we're going to mount this on some foam dots. See if that's going to be about right. Yes. And now I have just punched out a little branch out of the Tim Holtz. Um, ooh, I don't remember the name of it. I'll put a link to it below. I have just punched out one of those and then I just need to decide where I'm going to put it. Just want to kind of kind of bring that green from the back back up. I know we've got a lot of green, teal, whatever going on here. But 
I just thought it needed a little bit of something else since I've got all these same colors going on here. Like I said, you can do this in different colors if you want. I just wanted to do it in these colors because I thought it was pretty. There we go. So that is the way it's going to sit. And now I'm going to use my Wink of Stella in the clear. I do think this is clear. Yes, in the clear. And I'm going to go over these leaves and probably the flowers just to give it some pop off the page kind of. Okay, we have got our Wink of Stella on all of that front panel. See if you can see that. Yeah. And the branch there. And then I've just put a little piece of bling right there. That'll serve two purposes to keep that from sliding off if it loosens up. And then it's pretty too. So we're going to put a couple more pieces on here. I think I'm going to put one right there. And trying to decide if I want any more anywhere could always decorate this up with something different but I'm gonna do one other thing that's gonna make this card a little bit different I'm gonna put it this is a little punch that I got a long time ago have no idea where it came from let's see it says EK success and it's just a little corner punch and hopefully this is gonna work because I haven't used it in forever yep it did See, it made those little holes in there. So we're going to do that to the corners. Just kind of give it a little bit different punch. And you could have done this before if you had wanted to. I just chose to do it afterwards. Really, I wasn't, I was undecided as to whether I was going to do it or not. But then I thought that those side panels needed just a little bit more. So we're going to do this. So that is cute, I think. And you could always, you know, I may just go ahead and cut that off. I think I will. Okay, I just, something else just popped in my head. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut this right here off. And that gives it even a different appeal. I like that better. It shows up better. So all I'm doing is just bending that up. And if I can find this little punch, I'll be glad to list it below. But I've had it for a long, long time, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it. And some of you out there may have it. It was real popular back quite a few years ago. Alright. There we go. Oh, I like that. Put it right side up for me. That is cute, I think. It's different, but I like it. Okay, and what else was I going to do? I think I might. I don't know. This butterfly is probably too large. Let's see. So we punched this little butterfly out, and this is just a Martha Stewart the butterfly punch and I, if I find that I'll link it below as well and then I just run a little strip of bling silver bling down the center of it and we're going to I think I left the top off my glue too long we're going to put that right up here the top and just press that down So that is it. That is our card. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And when that little bell pops up, click that bell. And don't forget, I'm going to put a post right at the end of this video. Don't forget about our classes in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee in September. I think it's 13th through the 15th. I'm going to put a link below to those classes so go over some of them are selling out very fast go over if you want to get one of those we would love to meet you and see you there we'll talk to you guys later bye bye